It's said that even fighter pilots and astronauts break out into a cold sweat when they walk into this room. Once this centrifuge starts to spin, I will face the crushing forces of high G. And that's why I'm wearing my brave face. Some of the symptoms I can expect are, well, a very heavy head, very heavy arms, possible graying of the vision, and even maybe complete unconsciousness, although that's unlikely. Everyone has a limit, and I wanted to find out what my body could take. Oh, that's weird. Oh, my face. I was experiencing what's commonly known as G-forces, which is all down to one thing, acceleration. And for the last few thousand years, there wasn't much of that around. Not much fun, really. But thanks to the Industrial Revolution, more powerful machines meant more acceleration. And up went the G. One G. Three G. Four G. Ignition. Five G. Nine G. Back in the centrifuge, the pace was picking up. And when I got to three G, my vision went very odd. No, I'm going grey. Oh, very grey. Oh, the world's going black and white. Oh. Oh. I was hanging on as best I could, but when I got to 4.4G, my world suddenly became very strange indeed. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Coming down. I think you were right on the limit there. I feel a bit weird now, I have to be brutally honest. Let's just take another look at that. There was no doubt I'd clearly reached my limit. <laughs> As the G increased, it forced the blood from my head to my feet, just where I didn't need it, and I passed out. Not a problem for me, but if you were sitting behind the controls of a fighter plane, life would become a lot more tricky. 